Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the easily loaded, easily recorded Picross. Don't know what this game is. Looks like a combination of Sudoku and drawing. Um, we'll give it a shot, though. But uh, I say easily loaded because, guys, oh my god. You know what? I think one thing that I'm realizing about this Thousand and One Quest is that it's not so much playing the 1001 video games and trying them out that wears you down but the idea of recording on a thousand and one it's not a thousand and one systems obviously that's an exaggeration but all these different systems require such a complicated setup that sometimes it's just totally frustrating to get things to work case in point i wanted to play an xbox 360 game tonight can't even get my system to recognize my xbox 360 so i can't record from it and in my head i'm just like what fresh hell is this because what it worked a week ago and now it doesn't work and so it's like in addition to playing games i have to spend all this time coordinating setting up plugging in av equipment debugging obs studios you know like it's it's a lot of hassle actually <laughs> And, uh, you know, I know we're so far along. Sorry, we'll get to the game in a second. Just let me rant for a minute. Guys, give me an outlet here. But I legitimately feel like when this thousand and one thing is over, I'll probably still make videos for my channel, but I'm shutting it down in terms of playing a variety of systems. Like, I'll still play, like, a variety of retro systems because those are all easily emulated. And even Nintendo DS can be easily emulated and recorded so I don't have to fiddle with any hardware, but dealing with the original hardware is becoming increasingly tiresome in that it, all the intricacies of actually having to record off this stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just at a low point and this will go away once the pressure to play all these different systems is gone. But one of the things I've noticed in the last few years is we're playing way more Xbox 360, PS3 games, PS2 and stuff. And it's becoming a hassle to juggle all these systems, like legitimately. So anyway, that's where I'm at tonight. Hopefully Picross can pick up my spirits, lead me to a much more joyous mental environment here. Uh, the numbers above each column show how many squares in each column need to be filled. Okay. For example, the number here, five, shows you that five squares need to be filled. Okay. Because this is a small puzzle, you know that you can fill the whole column safely. Oh, this is basically Sudoku. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm down with this. I'm down for like a chill little Sudoku evening with you guys. I say evening. It's You're probably watching this any time of the day. I'm recording this in evening time. I have a little Coca-Cola can here that I'm sipping. taste of a new generation or wait is that pepsi i don't even know it's an old 80s slogan see the number five faded this happens when you successfully filled in the correct number of squares the numbers that appear see i thought this was 11 but i'm like oh it's one and one um so yeah we can do this i i, I understand tutorial let me let me do my thing now Three and one means you must fill three squares consecutively then one additional square to the left or right you must leave one space between them i get it because this is a five by five puzzle, the only possible solution is if you fill uh, the first three squares. Well, yeah, I guess so, because we've already filled this one. All right, let me do the rest. No more hints. I'm satisfied. Attention, to show the remaining square cannot possibly be filled. You can place a X to block it off. Um, the X, oh, okay, are marked here. First touch the X icon. And now, okay, I get it. I've clued into what's happening here. Thank you. And now we can continue to draw. I'm, I'm legitimately, I didn't know what to expect from Picross 3D, but now that we're actually playing it, I'm like, oh yeah, like this is exactly what I needed to soothe my, my bones. Ah, oh, now they're saying three in a row that has to be here. Okay, enough with the hints. Let me do it. <laughs> Let me do. Let me do, game. Let me do. Oh, God. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Well done. Also, I know where the four goes. It has to go here and here because this can't have two in a row and there's already one here. So this has to be blank. So that's a four. Yes, I get it. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I skip the tutorial? 
I'm, I've moved beyond the tutorial. I don't need it anymore. I have become man. Uh, okay. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now switch back to the pen and fill that square in. Yeah, I guess it would have to be there. I Also, th it, this has to be filled in because of the four. Then... Uh, we'll worry about the twos after that. Um, okay, fill the square between the two. I mean, I guess that has to be filled in. So then one of those has to be filled in. But all four of these have to be filled in. We know this. Come on, just let me do it. And these are already filled, so that's an X. Um, okay, bottom four squares. Got it. Come on, game. Like, really holding your hand through this. They're really massaging your back as you just go through this. Okay, I get it. It needs to be definitely filled in. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can we skip this shit? Boom, boom, boom. Wait, I know it has to be this one, because it can't be that, and that makes the two, which means that's the two, which means this is the last four. I've just solved it. <laughs> There's a few more squares to go. Remember, Picross doesn't rely on guesswork. Every puzzle can be solved by thinking logically. Solve the rest of the puzzle on your own. Okay, thank you. Can we do this? Uh, it is... There's your puzzle. Solved. I made a dog! Ooh, pixel art dog. Ooh, he, he's barking and he ran away. Cool. All right. It'd be kind of cool if you had to shade the pixels so you actually were doing pixel art. It's kind of neat. All right, so we got a little Sudoku style puzzle here. Fun times, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Use hints. No, get out of here. Go away. What? I didn't do that! Oh my god, it selected hints for me. Stop the roulette by tapping or touching the screen or pressing the A button. Okay, I'll just tap the screen. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I, I don't want the hints, though. Oh, good. Alright, thanks for ruining my fun. Take a look at the rules for normal mode. In normal mode, you'll be notified whenever you make a mistake. I don't want be notified. I just want to do it myself. I want this to be like my minesweeper. Receive a time over. Ah, oh, come on! You're ruining the puzzle! I could have got that one! Uh, Alright. Whatever. It was like an N. It was like a, a little N that we were drawing. Okay, thanks for holding my hand, man. Let's just do my, my Picross. Um, let's start on easy. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll actually upgrade to like normal or difficult for this one All right use hints. No go away All right, so This is two and two so it has to be like this This is just two so it could be here or here, but this is one So that can't be the case and that can't be the case this is one, 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 so it has to go like this. That can't be the case. That means that this has to be that two. And we have to do two and two. And then that fills all the other ones. And that leaves us with this. We did it. That was really easy. What did we draw? A star? I guess we drew a star in the, in the dead space. Interesting. All right. I mean, true to its word, it was easy. We are playing the easy puzzles here. Um, all right. Well, five is a freebie. Um, and then we have... Okay, the one has been filled out. So then that means this has to be four. And then these two have to be the three, and so does that. And we just solved it. A little, uh, like, walkie-talkie thingy that we drew. Or something. Police radio? Police scanner? Easy might be a little too easy for us. We might have to back out and actually go for a little bit of a challenge here today. Because I'm so damn smart, guys. Oh no, this one is challenging. Alright, well we definitely know... 
that these all have to be like this. It's just a question of, is it here or down here? Only one of them can be down here. Um, they could all be up here. Oh no, they can't all be up here. So one has to be down there. Okay. Um, here's some fives. So we know those have to go that way. The three, just cross these out. So that means that this has to be like that. That means there has to be a two here and a two here and a one here. Bingo, bango, boombo. Ooh, it's a heart. I feel like I'm getting world records here. Am I? 37 seconds. Beat that bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to call it. I got so caught up in this. I'm like <laughs> getting really hardcore here. Um, okay, so... So, well, we definitely know that those can't be in. And... This is a tricky one. Okay, now we actually have to think about this for a second. So, it could be a three here. Or could be a three here. Not too sure. And these could be ones here, or one here. Okay, we're missing something here. There's an inference we're not seeing. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well if this is two and two, then that can't be there, right? So then that means this... Oh! Oh no, it's just two! Oh shoot. I was thinking it was two and two. My bad. I misread that. Well, either way, this... This two was the key. Because that has to be like that. And that means that the other three could be here, but it can't be here. So those can go. And that means that has to be like that. And now we're getting down to it. That can't be, and that means these have... Oh, wait, what? Oh, they're already filled out. Oh, my God. Okay, now this seems like total guesswork. Oh, no, this has to be like this. Wow. I kind of botched that one. Looks like an open lock. Or a swan creature of some kind. All right, let's, uh, we could go back and get better time, but I feel like it's cheating once you've solved the puzzle once. All right, here's our five. Here's another five. There's a three. So it could go here. We one, two, three. We go here, one, two, three. But what it can't be is in the corner. So we know that one's out. Same with this. One, two, three, or one, two, three, but it can't be here. All right. What else are we working with here? Give me something. Give me something. Okay, this is a two and a one. So it could be like two here. That could be our one. Or that could be the two and the one. That's hard to say. Okay, we're missing again some key inference. Okay, well, whether this three, I think this three is the key. Whether this is one, two, three here or one, two, three here, this one has to be there, which means that's our two. Which means that can't be there, which that can't be there. Then we could have two here. We could have two there. Oof, still hard, still not quite cracked it. Three or one, two, three. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, this one is a two. It means it has to be there. Okay, so then that's filled out. And those are filled out. All right, it's starting to take shape now. That could still be in either spot. Oh, no, it can't because those are twos. So it has to go like... Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> damn it, I moved too fast. Okay. And so, yeah, it has to be down here. We got one penalty. Damn it. 
type. These are starting to get a little harder, so I'm not ready to jump to normal difficulty yet. Ooh, ooh la la. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are getting bigger. Kind of satisfying to just click these things through. Okay, so this one is an eight and a one. So it either has to be a gap here or here, one or the other. I wish you could do like, not an X, but sort of like a question mark, because it's sort of like an intermediate. Not too sure about that. This one is a 10. And these are tens. Oh, there's a 10 down here. Jeez, just give me the whole puzzle. It's like when you play Minesweeper, you just click randomly at all sorts of different squares. Okay, well, I think we just solved it because these all became, became no-goes, which means this eight has to be over here. And then that fills in these. And then now this is a three and this is a four. And now this is no more, this is no more. That's whatever it is. We just did it. Ooh, we made an eye. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. It's funny, you don't notice the things you're drawing in pixel art until it's like already done. I mean, if you were like crafting it, if you were inventing it, you would notice, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm not noticing as we're drawing. Oh, interesting, we have some zeros for the first time. Um, okay, this is a six. Four, five, six. And this is a nine. So this has to be like this. I like these little puzzle games because... I don't know, they, they're like oddly satisfying. There was an old game I used to play called Inspector Parker. Maybe we'll look it up one day. And, um... It was sort of like this, but w with like inspector stuff. Um, where it was like, you know, um, uh, John was above Sarah and Sarah was below the hammer and the hammer, you know, and like one inference led to another to another and you had to kind of piece it together, kind of like this little Sudoku thing that we're doing here. Um, there we go. That's pretty easy. Ooh, a battery. <laughs> I'm drawing the icons that are used in this game. <laughs> Like the, the information icon, the battery icon. Uh, I'm just drawing the notifications that the Nintendo DS here needs to operate. When in doubt, have the user draw the icons. That's like a really dirt cheap video game where you have to draw your own sprites before you get to play it. <laughs> um, it's so tempting to put a bunch of twos in here because there's all two, 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 two. Like, it looks like that should be the case, but it's probably a faint. Um, okay, so there could be a one here. Two, two. So that's hard to say. Okay, use your brain here. All right, if this is a five across, can't be in any of those. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it could be here, or it could be here. So this one, or this one could be out. We don't know which. There's only two in this whole column. I feel like that's a bit of a tell. Okay, what else we got? Okay, if we've got ones, 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 and these two can't be it. Um, and if it's here, it couldn't be here, and if it's here, it couldn't be here. So this one has to be one of the ones. Now we've got one of the twos. So it has to be here or here. It can't be any of these. So that just helped big time. So now... It still doesn't illuminate any of those. Check out these columns here. Okay, well, this, this is a five. These two have to be true. And then maybe this one, or maybe this one. Wait, four. Oh wait, this one also has to be true. So then this one or this one, we're not sure which one yet. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay, we're making progress. Okay, if this is a single three, we can rule out this. Because it's like one, two, three, or one, two, three, or something. But once we've done that, I feel like these sevens have to go in like this now. And that is going to help us. Yeah, look at that. That just ate up all the twos and stuff. Oh, look at this. These rows are now finished. Okay. So now... What do we got to work with here? We got stuff. It's action. Hmm, I'm still not sure how these fit in, but we'll figure that out. Oh, I wish I knew which one of these it was. There's got to be a hint somewhere. A five. Oh, this is a five down. One, two. So it can't be any of those. So that means that this one has to be like that. Which means... The three can't have anything to do with this column. Could still be three over this way. We don't know if it's this one or not yet. Once we figure out this one, I feel like it'll unlock a lot of these. We're getting there. Okay, so there's another one. It could be in one of these, or it could be... I'm willing to bet it's over here, but I don't want to, you know, like, just gamble. I want to do this logically. Oh, I think this is a key. We found our five. It's a bit like Solitaire. Because Solitaire is a puzzle. Solitaire, one thing that separates this from Solitaire is you're not guaranteed a solution with Solitaire. Um, okay, if this is a two, then that can't be true and that can't be true. But this could be a two and that could just be the one. Or this could be a two. So we don't, we don't know which of any of these it is. Um, I would like to bet this... And this. So I don't know, actually. And this. It's a bit of a gamble. I do you want to figure this out logically? Oh wait, none of these can be it. Right, because the seven's already taken. So wait, so this is the one. So that's the two. Then that can't be one. So that means this is the three. All right, all right. See, this is what I thought it was, but I didn't want to just gamble. Anyway, now we know that this is the five, and that solves it. What did we draw? Oh, it's like a Wi-Fi bar. We literally are drawing all the icons of a phone. That's cool. All right, no... <clears throat> we like doing this without hints. It's more fun without hints, I find. Um, okay, so there's that. And then we know that these ones have ones. Um, so these are all like this. Okay, and then that, one, two, three. Okay, so there's a bunch of ones. One here, one here. Like, we don't know which of, which of these, really, though. Um, although if this is a three, that means that has to be true, and so that has to be true. Does that lock anything else? I guess not. It does lock all these off. So we'll cross them out. Next... Alright, we have... We got nothing right now. Oh, if this is an 8, this has to be interconnected. 4, 5, 7, 8... Okay, so that finishes that off nicely. Um, okay, now where are we? Oh, interesting. So it's either six like this, and this is the one, or vice versa. We don't know which it is yet. Um, although... No, that doesn't help anything. We're close to cracking it. I feel like a detective for some reason, even though we're just... Putting dots and X's on the screen. Okay, one of these is going to crack something. I know it. One, one. Oh, this is a one, seven. Okay. Oh, and this is a one, six. And this is... Oh, wait, that was stupid. That could have been the seven. That could have been... Okay, well, whatever. We got lucky. Anyway, if it's the one, seven... 
be like that. Oh no, the seven makes sense. It has to be this way. I think the six, I made a mistake by doing that. I was lucky that it worked out, but... Um... Okay, so if we need six... One, two, three, four, five. So we don't know if it's here or here. One of those, but we're pretty close. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it becomes a seven. Nope, so the six has to be over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That finishes that row. Okay, we sort of figured out this one by process of elimination. But then that now has to be the five. And then we know it can't go there. Um, this whole row is done. Okay. Things are looking good. Next thing to crack. Well, if we have to have a three, it would have to be over there, right? Like, there's no other possibilities. So there's that row done. Uh, five. One, two, three, four. It could be across here. Or it could be one, two, three, four, five. One or the other. I guess in either case, these two have to be part of it. And it's either here or here. But it can't be over here. Okay, so that's another something. I feel like at some point we're just going to solve one and it's going to crack the whole thing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So it could be this, or it could be one, two, three, four, five. But that has to be it. Um, and now we're at a point where there has to be one down here. That finishes that whole column. And these can't be it. Oh, we know these are definitely out of the mix. Okay, hold on. This is doing something. One, two... Oh, yeah, so one, two, five. Oh, and there's a six. Okay. These have to go like this and like this. We did it. What did we draw? Oh, we drew a finger. <laughs> you know, I should look at the thing that I'm drawing because maybe it will give me a hint as to what I'm actually drawing here. We got the finger. We got fingered on easy mode. All right, tens are freebies. We also locked off a whole row or a whole column here. It's nice. All right, here's what we're drawing. I'm actually going to pay attention this time. I say that, but who knows? Okay, if there's a seven, it has, it has to include at least some of these. So it could be a one. Like, I'm just going to guess that. A couple more. I could probably throw one more in here. I won't. I'm not calculating it out. That was just a blind guess. Um, okay, so if we have an eight... Okay, we don't know anything about that yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also know that this whole column is done. Okay. Now, what else do we know? Well, we know that uh, this is just a, call, a bunch of ones. Okay, so if this is a one, let's figure out the extremes. This could be a gap, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alternatively, this could be a one. Gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alternatively, this could be a one. Gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I think this one here also has to, no matter in all scenarios, has to be part of the seven. So that I don't know, I guess helped. One, two, three. I think this kinda this one might have to be true. Is there a way to do it? One, two. Three. No, you can't do it. One, two. Yeah, okay, so th these have to be filled in. 
Yeah, look at that. And then, because this is a single eight, this would have to be like that. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Could be one here and here, or there could be, yeah. Could go either way at that point. Um, I feel like these two are probably just, like, just from the pattern, probably true. But we don't know for sure. I don't want to make guesses, as I've said. Um, okay, so we're missing something else here. Um, okay, so what are these other two? They could be here and here, or they could be here and here. So they could be in any of these. So we don't have any information about these. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it could be that these two. Or it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this. But it can't be this one up here. So that's something, I, th I think. A, a little bit of something. And I think this one has to be. And therefore that one can't be. So I'm also tempted to like throw one here, but again, that'd be a blind guess. Okay, come on, something has to crack here. Hey, we're on level J, by the way. It's kind of, uh, amusing. Um... Thinking here. Thinking. Can we do anything? Oh! This has to be all filled in. Because of the eight. Okay, that just changed things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so that's filled in. Now we have to connect this. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's filled in. We need a gap here. We could have a one here, here. Here, here. Okay. We still don't know anything about those, but that helped. Um, okay, so now we know these can't be. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, the eight. Okay, one. These have to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what do we draw? Oh, we're drawing a trash bin, I bet. <laughs> Let's just draw it out now that we know what we're drawing. Um, okay. So that helps this quite a bit. We still don't know where this is, but I'm willing to bet it's here, and then this is filled in. Oh, wait, this is a seven. It has to be like that. Okay, making progress. These are all done. We just need this last bit here. This is all filled in. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this has to be filled in. That leaves. I'm willing to bet it's like here and here. <laughs> Just from the, the trash bin that we were drawing. All right, that was a good one. You know what? Looking at what we were actually drawing did give me a little bit of a hint. It's sort of like Pictionary almost. At a certain point, maybe you could just figure out what you're drawing and fill, fill it in. Okay, what are we drawing now? <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys have to figure it out. <clears throat> okay, if we're doing an eight, then it could be all the way down here, it could be all the way, but there has to be at least two, three, four, five, six. That's the minimum of what has to exist. And these two could be filled in, these two, or this one, and this one. That's the minimum for our eight. Uh, if we're doing three and three, then those two have to exist. Same with a bunch of these. Yeah, look at this, these are all filled in. Full row is done. Um, if we're doing a three and three, it can... No, it could be. It could be on either side. We don't know anything about that yet. Okay. Um, these have to be filled in. Okay, what are we drawing? I still don't know, actually. 
Um, okay, three. Oh, here's an easy one. Five. Are we drawing like a Legend of Zelda guy? Looks like a sword or something. Um, okay. Now what? Now what? These are all blocked off. So are these. Um, okay. Well, if these are one, 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 then these two have to be blocked off too. Which means here's our threes and fours. Oh, it's not a Legend of Zelda sword after all. What? What am I drawing here? Um, this has to be like this. Oh, I drew a guy and a girl. <laughs> They're out on a date. World record time right there, folks. Oh, she gave him a kiss. All right. Let's try one more easy one, and then we'll graduate to, like... I want to see one normal, and I kind of want to see one hard. And then... Maybe we'll, uh, we'll wrap up. Because I could probably do this all day, to be honest. I legit am like, maybe I'll play this on my own time. <laughs> this is the exact kind of game I need. Guys, I was having a stressful day, and I'm playing a nice, relaxing Nintendo game. That exa is exactly what I wanted to play. It's, it's awesome. You did it, Nintendo. You won this round. Okay, let's cross these out. I'm legit, like, is Picross something I can get on my phone or something? Like, kind of like this. Um, okay. Now what we do. What do? Okay, these are ones. So that has to be off the, off the menu. And... Well, if this one is a four, then that has to be the only possibilities. I'm willing to bet it's symmetrical, like it's here and here, like it's not gonna be here and there. I mean, look at the numbers, they're all symmetrical. This counts as an inference, right? <laughs> that felt a little risky, but whatever. It's correct. I'm right. I know I'm right. I have to justify myself to you people. Yeah, look at this thing. This is totally symmetrical. So anything I draw on one side, I can just automatic. So I only have to solve half of this. So if it is symmetrical, then we know that... Let's just go with this. Let's go with this. I, I don't know if it's possible for them to violate the symmetry, but all the numbers are perfectly symmetrical. So I'm just going to guess that it is symmetrical and go with that. Um, let me knock all these out. Okay. So I don't know where this one fills in or this one or this one yet. Okay. Oh, I'm willing to bet this one's the two. Makes this the three. And if that's the three, then that's one, two. So I'm pretty sure it can't be that. One of these is the one and one is the two. Like one of these is the three and one is the one. Mm, hard to say. I think I'm drawing in, uh, like a hour, not hourglass, but like, uh, one of those weight scales to, like, judge criminals or something. I don't know. Uh, we're so close. What are we missing? Oh. These are all off the menu. Does that do anything for us? Two, one. Well, we know that this is the two, and that's the two, so we just need some ones in here. Um, a single two. Okay, so it is either dot 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 dot. 
I, based on how I would draw this, let's, let's do a drawing guess. And then like this and this. Right? Because that's how you draw this thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the Pictionary part of it helped me. I'm sure I could have figured that part out logically, but... Um, okay. Had a lot of fun with the easy mode. Oh, there is no hard mode. Okay. Whoops. Picross. Let's give this normal mode a shot. Um, puzzles for beginners. I want to try... I just want to see how difficult it gets. Hit me up, yo. Okay, this section will explain a little about zooming. If you're using the stylus to control the game, puzzles of more will be displayed on a zoomed in screen. Touching the puzzle grid will zoom the screen. Okay. So we can like zoom around. Okay, I see it. Once you're zoomed in, you'll see four icons in the top corner of the screen. Move this to move the mode. I guess I wish you didn't have to zoom. I wish you were just allowed to precision tap. Um, you can slide the puzzle. Okay. Alright. I got it. Well done! I guess they do try and like have the stuff above to show you that's like the, the numbers that's handy. Okay. Can I see the edges? When you're zoomed in, you'll see six sets of floating numbers. That's handy. Select the pen and select the X. Allows you to place X. Lens lets you zoom in and out. See the whole grid whenever. Give it a try now. All right, there we go. Zoomed out. With the screen zoomed out, you'll be able to see the entire puzzle. However, you won't be able to fill in the squares or add X's. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. I get it. I want to play. No. All right, so I'm guessing the nines are a good place to start. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So these, these ones here have to be filled in. Now the rest we don't know yet. But any place where we see a nine. Okay, that's all we got so far to start with. Oh no, wait, we have another nine, so the three in the middle can be filled in. One, two, oops, ah! That was a mistake. The thing moved. <laughs> I wasn't going to click that. I'm not going to take advantage of that just yet. Okay. With this filled in, this eight then would have to go... Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. Look, it moves around as you click. I kind of don't like that because it's throwing me off. Three, four, five, six, seven. Also, the, the lines and the circles that I'm drawing are different now. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay. This is a one five. Okay, so that doesn't give us anything. This is a two three three, so that has to at least be that. So that, I don't know if that's anything that's gonna help us. Um, okay, I said I wouldn't take advantage of this yet and I'm not going to yet. Even though I know that the rest of the row has to be a nine this way. Um, if I could find the one in this column, then this would have to be three or five. I could fill that in and that would like give me more to go on. Um, okay. Next place we would go from here would be... Let's see. How do we want to do this? Well, this is a four, three, and a two, so this has to be at least a two. Well, that's something. Then... Hmm. Thinking about this, folks. Kind of 
God, do we have any other hints? Alright, well, in the interest of time, I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of this mistake that I made. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> Wait, how do I get rid of those X's? There we go. I don't like the zooming in thing. The game worked a lot better when you didn't have to do this, if I'm being totally honest. Okay. Does this help our situation at all? Don't think it does. Um... Think, 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 think. Oh, this now has to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so all these are not filled out. Still doesn't help our situation. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it could be that, or this could be a one. I mean, it could be anything, almost. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. One of these columns is gonna give me something. I know it. I know it. There's just so much space to operate in. There's so many degrees of freedom here, if you will. If we can get technical. Something has to give me something. Something has to... Oh, this is a two and a three, so that has to be at least that. Okay, let's look for all the rows that don't have ones in them. Keep zooming out when I mean to just scroll. Okay, we need rows where we've got something. Ooh, this is a four or five, meaning this is at least one, two... Three, four. That's a minimum. There could be another one there. We don't know yet. Ooh, and this is a three or four, meaning this has to be at least that big. Okay, that, that was actually fruitful, that little insight. And so now... Let's see. Oh, we're so close. Once we get the five here, we'll solve a bunch of stuff. I kind of think the five might be here. I wonder if I should just go for it. No, because then I don't know where the five ends. Okay. I need one of these other rows. Oh, look, this one is a two or a three. So that has to be like that. And okay, can we solve this column yet? Oh yeah, because there can't be a two. So this has to connect. This has to be two, three, four. So either of these two have to be filled in. Two, three, four, five, six, four, five. So that could be filled in, but it can't be this. Which means, now, the powers of deduction. This has to be the five. Yes! We got a row. Clear this out. Okay. Starting to come together. Starting to come together. Um, oh, that was the one, so that's interesting. Um, okay. So it could be there and there. It could be here and here. We don't know. But... One, two, three, four, five. So if that, it could be like that, or it could be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but it can't be any of these below. So that's more information. Sometimes knowing what a column or row can't be is useful. As useful as knowing what it can be. Um... Okay. What else we got? This one I feel like is another key row once we figure out its mysteries. Oh, this is a four and a three. Meaning it has to at least be that. Okay, does that do anything for this row? 
One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Mm, no, it could be anything. It almost looks like it's going to be symmetrical, but I hesitate to just make that assumption at the moment. Um, okay. I'm trying to look for something we haven't seen yet in some of these rows. Do you guys spot anything? If you do, why aren't you helping me, man? Thought we were friends. Thought we were friends. Ah, oh, what am I missing? Oh, wait, this is a two. That's a two to three. That oh, could be a three and a two. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> we're close. I can taste the victory. Tastes salty. Like a chip. Like a delicious potato chip. Okay, so here's some information. This thing... Whatever's happening here... It could be three or it could be five. But it... Oh no, because it could be anything way down here too. This could be- this whole column could be empty. Shit, there's some kind of inference we're missing. Some kind of inference. Well, I mean, as fun as it would be for you guys to sit here and watch me struggle, 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 I guess I'm going to start taking some chances so we can actually wrap this video up. Guys, <laughs> it's pushing an hour here for having me stare at a crossword thingamabob. Okay, I got to take a chance here. So I'm going to bet that this is a thing. And that... Uh, I don't know. That's the thing. Nope. I got a four minute penalty for that. Four minutes, guys. But I think that gives me some more information. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to add all those X's. Okay, so two, one, one. Come on, man. Where's my next guess going to be? Go for it. Eight minutes. <laughs> oh, they're just. Pa I'm. I'm at twenty-four minutes because of my guesses. This is my wild guesses. Um. All right, let's just go for it. Eight minutes. I don't know. What? What? What do we got here? Fill it in. Fill it in. One hour. At, at what point do they punish you and not allow you to do this anymore? All right, two, uh, two and a half hours on this one puzzle. Still don't know what we're drawing. I'm just going to keep clicking to fill it in. Uh, like this. It's like an X, I think. Yeah, look at that. It's an X. Um, I don't know what this is, actually. What am I drawing? So we're up to like a four-hour puzzle time. Okay, I, I, I truly don't know. I feel like, <laughs> what's the point of even doing the puzzle now when I'm just clicking every square? Anyway, um, I don't know. It's an X or something. Uh, I think with enough time, I probably could have done a better job of solving. I mean, anyone could do a better job than this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Cool game. I like. I I, I do like this. Um, definitely the kind of game that I'm happy that uh, I played today. Um, and, uh, a good, a good Nintendo game overall. I think I really enjoy these little puzzle games. As it turns out, that's something I've noticed about myself. Um, I don't know if you guys do as much, but if you're looking for, like, a nice relaxing game to play on your DS, this one's probably worth picking up, I would say. Um, oh look, we are starting to draw something, though. Could almost make out what it is. Almost. 
Just a wonder. Um, let's see here. What the hell are we drawing? Four and a two are still missing. So it would go like this, and then like... That? Any of these? Anything? We're up to seven hours. Imagine spending seven hours doing this. Can you get a world record in the opposite direction for this? I mean, we might as well just click them all at this point to see what it is. Because now I'm, my curiosity is peaked. It's funny how they don't time you out eventually, and they're like, you're clearly cheating. Okay, there we go. We, we did it. We're champions. I wonder how long it would have actually taken me to solve this. I feel like I thought maybe we had a good chance of doing it. But truthfully... Uh... There we go. What the heck is this? Oh, is it a kite or something? 11 hours! <laughs> New record! Um, oh yeah, it is a kite. Guys, Picross... 2D, what do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through some puzzles. As I said, I had fun with this one. I thought it was cool. I, it's definitely the kind of puzzle game I'd recommend to people, but only for people who like this kind of thing. You know, if you don't like Sudokus and stuff, probably not going to like it, but uh, it's a nice, simple puzzle game. Glad it's on the DS. Uh, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and I hope you had some fun today. And until next time, take care. Oh, man, I screwed up the outro. Whatever, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace!